Turn now to disturbing allegations against a retired Navy SEAL acquitted of war crimes. ABC Stephanie Ramos joins us with what some members of his platoon said in confidential interviews about Special Operations Chief Eddie Gallagher. Stephanie, good morning to you. Dan, good morning. What you hear in these videos is just stunning. In these videos obtained by the New York Times, we hear from the Navy SEAL team members who accused their platoon leader, Eddie Gallagher, of a range of brutal acts. These guys reportedly told investigators they complained within their chain of command, but say they were ignored until it went further up the chain, leading to a war crimes charge. The guy got crazier and crazier. You can tell he was perfectly okay with killing anybody. This morning, evil and toxic. Just some of the ways fellow Navy SEALs are seen and heard on camera describing Special Operations Chief Eddie Gallagher. I kind of like heard more rumors and stuff like that of Eddie like targeting civilians. I saw Eddie take the shot at probably a 12 year old kid. The video interrogations conducted by Navy criminal investigators was obtained by the New York Times and were part of the investigation into Gallagher, who was acquitted by a military court of war crime charges in the killing of a wounded teenage ISIS prisoner in Iraq in 2017. Gallagher, however, was convicted for illegally posing with the teen's dead body and was demoted in rank. In the video used in a New York Times documentary called The Weekly on Hulu, the teenage ISIS fighter appears to be barely conscious. Gallagher is then seen crouching over the injured teen. Then a hand reaches up and turns off the helmet camera. One of the SEALs describes what he saw. All of a sudden, maybe he just starts stabbing the dude probably two or three times. But during Gallagher's trial, that SEAL, Corey Scott, dropping a bombshell, claiming he killed the teen, not Gallagher. President Trump intervened in the case in November, ordering the Navy to restore Gallagher's rank and later ordering the Navy to allow Gallagher to keep his trident pin, which identifies him as a member of the SEAL community. And I said, no, you're not going to take it away. He was a great fighter. Gallagher has gleefully praised the president for coming to his defense, even meeting with Trump last weekend at his Mar-a-Lago resort, handing the president a gift from his time in Mosul. As for the videos, Gallagher's attorney says he's surprised they've been released. This was a small group of individuals who didn't like their chief because he was pushing them too hard. They didn't like the mission, so they made up a story. In the end, the Navy secretary was forced to resign over his, quote, handling of the case. Gallagher was allowed to retire as a Navy SEAL with full pension. And the New York Times journalist that obtained the video says Gallagher's attorney has threatened to sue him. The New York Times says they stand by their reporting. But this is such an interesting case. And yeah. former military professionals have said that because this trial did not run its course under military law, it will have a serious impact mm -hmm. on the Navy SEAL community for a long time. Quite a mess. Yeah. And we know you have a military background, so thank you for covering it this morning. Appreciate it, Stephanie. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.